Hi, so in the previous video we saw how to use Grunt to debug your application and to modify something in your code and see the end result without having to deploy your application over and over again. So right now, if you looked at the documentation, we have two types of application. Actually, we have two types of objects. We have application and we have a library. So the difference between an application and the library is that an application have a shell. Shell being this, a menu, let's say. And that means that an application, you can open a view, you can just display it. You can access to it through the URL here. A library, by definition, think about it like a library on Windows or dot, uh, dot .iso on uh, Linux meaning that it's supposed to be a library in the first sense meaning that it's objects you are going to put inside of it and maybe reuse in a lot of applications like I don't know like a view like a process like process notification you could use in in your incident uh, program application in an ordering application so it could be one library and multi using used in multiple applications. So the problem is when you try to grant a library, we saw previously that when you grant an application, it will launch a window. Yeah, on, for example, on port 9005. If you grant a library, you will not have this window because the library doesn't have really an UI. It doesn't know what to display. So how do you debug and how do you change the same way we did with an application in the previous video? How do we do that for a library? So for library, the trick is, so I'm going to take an example from uh, some an application that is an SDK, uh, which is task manager. So if we go to the SDK, 1708, sample, you see you have one application, one library. So what's the difference? In the application, so we have bundle config.json and I'm going to open the bundle config.json from the library. So what is going to happen is that if I'm granting task manager library nothing is going to happen. I mean I will not see I will not see my win my Chrome browser launched. So here I will not be able to debug it. So for example let's quickly configure Ports. So if I go to So if I'm granting the library You can see that uh, it's watching, but it doesn't do anything. It didn't launch a browser window. So, how can I debug it? So, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to open another command window here. I'm going to name it app. So, in order to debug a library, so this is the library and this is the application. As you can see here in resources, I have the path to the bundle folder of the library. So, what it means is that this application depends on this library. So when I'm going to grant, what it's going to do is that it's going to watch for the library when it's modified and it's going to refresh the browser window. So that's why you need to do a double grant because in this case I need to grant first the library so when I modify something in the library it will recrunch all the files like the CSS, HTML, GS. 
But then I have to do the same thing for the application, for one application that uses the library. Because basically the application will be the front end revealing the library. So here, for example, I will just grant. So I will go in task manager, bundle, I will grant the application. So this time it's opening a window for task manager. So here I'm logged in and here is task manager. So let's see if I can something here I can change something. So here I have a chart, task count. Uh, let's see what they could change. Here I have some custom view components. So here let's say I want to change something in task manager library. Source, main, web app, scripts, view components. So I have for example task panel. Let's say in the panel I want to change something, I want to add, I don't know. So the panel is in task manager is this one, this view component. So let's say I want to add something totally useless like hello world. So this is contained inside the library. So here if everything is working correctly, so as you can see here it saw that something has been modified. See, the HTML has been changed, so he recreated the templates, it recreated the lib.js, and as you can see here, the application itself so that something changed. So actually now, if everything worked correctly, the application should have been refreshed, and as you can see here, we got the hello world. So if I remove that, and I go back here, oh, something wrong happened. Yes. Oh, no, it's okay. Yes, something happened. So here, it will be refreshed. So it's refreshed, so it disappeared. So basically, that's how you do when you want to grant or you want to debug an uh, a library. You have to grant the library, but you also have to grant an application that depends on the library. So you way, the way you'd say that you de the application depends on the library is on the resources on the application and you have to give the path to the library bundle folder so you can watch for it. The thing you need to be careful also is that of course because you are doing two grants the library load ports must be different. So here it's 3906 and here it's 3905. So of course the same way we saw earlier that uh, the code was not minified. You can see here in task manager lib.js it's not minified. So it's still possible to debug easily your code. So you can change your code and you can change and you can debug it very easily using grant. The only thing is that if you debug a library once again it will be a double grant. So there is a post on the BMC community that explains exactly how it's working. So I guess it will be in the description under this video and well, I hope it helps. So once again for the Java, uh, you can connect to the server using a debug port, but the port is closed right now on the developer instances and it should be open pretty soon. So I will do another video to explain how to remotely debug your Java code.